how do you find words to pay tribute to an admired colleague and more importantly a valued friend he would probably say don't bother with all of this fuss just for god's sake go and rip a cork out of a bottle of champagne and move on but it's not that simple he will leave a big hole in all of our lives and we won't fill that hole we will though learn to negotiate our way around it in time. Roscoe was a very private man who paradoxically for most of his life chose perhaps the most public profession and on the one hand because of that he would understand this interest in his passing but on the other hand he'd actually be embarrassed by it. And that would come as a surprise, I imagine, to those of you who saw the, the unflappable professional, the man who for many years ruled the Today Show news desk, dominated it. <laughs> and then when he was coaxed out of retirement, turned the Sydney primetime news market on its ear. I know that he took a measure of satisfaction in the success that he had when he did that but there was never ever a shred of arrogance. And that's pretty rare in this business, let me tell you. For those of us who were lucky enough to work with Roscoe during his years on the Today Show, during our years on the Today Show, his su success in prime time was no surprise at all and it was richly deserved. So who was he? Well, you've got a sense of that. I think that's why people loved him reading the news, because they did have a sense of who he is. They had a sense of his warmth, they had a sense of his integrity, they had a sense of his honesty. Ian Ross was a journalist. He was a newsreader. He was a professional. He was a friend. He was a father. He was a lover and a partner. He was a tennis player and a joker and a champagne appreciator, <laughs> and he will be missed. <laughs>